Hello Rams fans, once again coming at you with some Rams news and I got some good news today. The Los Angeles Rams just signed a one year uh, contract with Odell Beckham Jr. So um, I, I jumped on the web and uh, to confirm it and sure enough it's true man. So uh, I took some notes and um, I'm going to read them out loud to you and uh, here I go. I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, here we go. Odell Beckham Jr.'s free agency period has come to an end. Yes, because the Los Angeles Rams got him. The Los Angeles Rams announced on Thursday afternoon that the three-time Pro Bowl receiver has signed a one-year agreement with the team. Woo! Three-time Pro Bowl receiver. That was at the beginning of this of uh, his career, his NFL career. He was a three-time Pro Bowler. That was the best time of his uh, NFL career at the beginning. He was with the New York Giants. Okay, let's continue with the notes. Before the Rams made the signing official, there was some uncertainty. Hmm. According to the NFL Network, Kim Jones Beckham was undecided about joining the Rams or the Packers. Oh, because the Packers were, were interested. They, the Packers made him an offer. Um, Beckham, on the other hand, elected to sign with the Rams. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't? Brand new stadium, Vaughn Miller, um, Aaron Donald. Who, who else do we got? Jalen Ramsey, um, quarterback, Stafford. Come on, Cooper Cup, the number one receiver in the league. See, that's what kind of gets me. Like, why would Beckham want to come to a team where we already have a superstar wide receiver, but there's more to it. He, he He's trying to get a Super Bowl ring. Then, after the one-year contract, once he gets that ring, then he could, he could negotiate better, possibly. Huh. I don't know. Something to think about. Anyways, he chose to be with us. Let's go Los Angeles Rams and continue with the notes. Before the Rams made the signing official, there was some uncertainty. According to the NFL Network, Kim Jones Beckham, oh, Kim Jones, Beckham was undecided about joining the Rams or the Packers. Beckham, on the other hand, e elected to sign with the Rams, who, like Green Bay, are vying for one of the top NFC playoff spots. According to sources the Kansas City Chiefs, New England Patriots, and New Orleans, uh, New Orleans Saints were among the clubs linked to Beckham. So all these different teams were going after him. The Chiefs, the Saints, the Patriots, they were all interested in him. A lot of teams were interested in him. Probably more, definitely more teams uh, than uh, that are listed here. Beckham was dismissed by the Browns last week for his relationship with the team and quarterback Baker Mayfield deteriorated. And uh, this brings up a lot of questions. If he's a complainer, if, if he's a foolish um, behavior uh, and, 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 you know, is, is an issue, then... Why would you pick him on the team? You know, um, the New York Giants let uh, uh, Beckham go because uh, to Cleveland because of his antics and um, his, you know, his foolish behavior. Um, it, it was starting to build up and then it just it, it played out in Cleveland. But amongst other things, if he wasn't getting enough targets and, you know, he was getting really upset and frustrated and it just he let it play out. Um, however, you know, he moved to the Rams. Now he's with the Rams. And what I think is that uh, I'm sure we told him like, hey, you know, we can't have that big distraction here. We got a number one receiver. We'll fit you in where you fit in. And uh, if, you, if you cause too many problems, we're going to cut you. You're only here for six games anyways. You know, behave. Right. I, I hope you behave. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue with the notes. Beckham now has an opportunity to show that he can still perform at a high level. 
after the 2018 season, the Giants moved Beckham to the Browns, mainly because they were weary of his shenanigans. See what I'm talking about? The Giants moved him to the Browns, and then the Browns moved him. So, wow, let's not this let this be a distraction. Um, let's discipline if, if it needs to be quickly. Um, anyways, uh, mainly because they were worried about his shenanigans. Beckham was picked 12th overall by the Giants in 2014, and he quickly rose to prominence as one of the league's most prominent players. Man, he's an awesome player. He got skills. He's talented. However, Beckham's output has dropped in recent. His output to performance and numbers, his stats, uh, has dropped in recent seasons, owing in part to injuries. He hurt he ruptured his ACL in 2020. So this is a recent injury. His father, meanwhile, recently, I'm sure you've heard about this, uh, the Browns uh, chastated his, the, the Browns on social media, his dad. And um, Beckham was no longer worth the bother to the Browns. Wow, is that bad? So they chose to break connections. And that's when Beckham became a free agent. Beckham made the Pro Bowl in each of his first three seasons. This is good stuff about Beckham. His first three seasons, he made Pro Bowl. And he still got those skills, but he hasn't made one since Pro Bowl. He totaled 4,122 yards and 35 touchdowns in the first three seasons with at least 10 touchdowns and 1,305 yards in each three seasons for the first three seasons 1300 yards each season and and 10 touchdowns wow that's good that's good that's really good numbers beckham has 2940 yards and 16 touchdowns in 45 games over the last four seasons beckham's greatest season in the last four years was 2018 his final year with the giants with 1,052 yards and six touchdowns. He again went over 1,000 yards in 2019. Ah, 2019, kind of recent, before he ruptured his ACL. In 2019, 1,035 yards. But due to injuries, he only had 302 yards and 319 yards in 2017 uh, and 2020. Oh, from 20, wow. Ooh, why would anybody want him on the team uh, with those kind of numbers? What is going on there? Um, I can see why he was just frustrated. He's like, I got all these skills. I could do this, I could do that. And why aren't you passing me the ball? I would have complained too. Hopefully Stafford finds them more. Um, Beckham has only 17 receptions for 232 yards, zero touchdowns in six games this season. 17 receptions? Only 232 yards? Woo, that's terrible, that's low. Let's see, zero touchdowns, but now he has new beginning. Will he be able to make the most of the situation? Beckham will join the Rams club that is putting everything on the line this season the rams just traded for future hall of fame pass rusher von miller who is presently seven and two and one game behind the cardinals for the afc west divisional lead miller will make his nfl debate on sunday joining the three-time defensive player of the year Aaron Donald and all pro cornerback Jalen Ramsey on the Los Angeles Rams defense. Can't wait to see this. Well, Odell Beckham Jr., welcome to Los Angeles. <sighs> Hope we have a good season. Let's see. We'll see.